what is safe, what is known, what is comfortable isn't always the best option for you. Think right now, what's getting in your way from pursuing your dreams of becoming a YouTuber, content marketer, or maybe just having like a better job where you're working with cameras and you're being creative? What's holding you back? Think of that one thing. Why would I want to abandon these super comfortable jobs that paid me pretty well, that gave me some commissions, that had a super sweet ping pong table in the corner and like an Xbox and a PS5 over here and everybody dressed cool and there was like cool dudes and cool girls and like everybody vibed like why would I ever want to step away from that in the moment I thought I was hot shit I worked for so many cool companies in San Diego also here in Salt Lake City just grinding on the phones making my money buying the things that I wanted but at the end of the day I f hated those jobs I f hated them so in 2020 I'm working for this super sweet healthcare company that everybody wants to work at here in Salt Lake City. And the promise was that if you built that big book of business, you were going to be set, you were going to be making a ton of money. So I grinded every single day, making about 70 to 100 calls, trying to get all these prospects lined up, trying to close all these sales so that I could get like that six figure salary. But I remember waking up every single day hating this job, hating going to the building, sitting in the same seat, not letting my creativity shine through. And on top of that, I had a manager who was just a mega, mega dickhead. That was the compromise, right? You put up with the bullshit because there was a promise of something that was going to happen that was going to be so incredible and you wanted it really, really bad. Not realizing and not recognizing that this incredible, amazing job that I got was actually draining the f out of me. And so far I've worked there for one year and I'm building this book of business. I finally have sales, I've got clients, I've got stuff on the calendar. I am literally already spending the money, the commission that's gonna come in. And then boom, COVID happened and it just obliterated my entire book of business. Everything that I had built up for that year, all of the times that I didn't want to come in, all of the phone calls that I didn't want to make, all of the interactions with this horrible boss, which by the way, if you're watching it, dude, I'd still, to this day, I, do not li I, I don't like you. Everything was just blown to smithereens and everything that I built up was just <laughs> done over with. And that was a pivotal moment in my life because I had two options. I can stay in what was comfortable, put up with the bullshit, grind for another year, and maybe, maybe get that book of business up, but still hate my job and pretty much hate my life. Or I could walk away and let go and go pursue something that I'm actually interested in. Photography, videography, content creation, all things that I literally had zero experience in. And even though this road sounds cooler, it's really scary. Comfort, but you dislike it, it's not good for you. Or walk away from that and trust the unknown and just accept, but maybe just kind of try and just kind of see what happens. Those were the two options. And it was hard, and in the moment, it sucked. I worked so hard to try and build up this book of business, and I'm just like, why God? Like, why universe? Why is this happening to me? But when I finally accepted that everything that I had worked for over here just didn't matter anymore, and it was time to let it go and walk away, some incredible things happened. Within six months of choosing that scary unknown route and just accepting defeat, making zero money and literally spending the only money that I had, $600 on a camera, I started to get attention for my video work and my photo work on my social media. And before I knew it, places were approaching me to offer me jobs, good paying jobs to work with cameras. That literally never happened in my life. I was never scouted from a job on social media when I was in sales ever. And these job offers and opportunities that came to me were pretty huge. One of them was KSL Sports, one of the biggest sports network here in Utah. It literally is like number one. It's the biggest. And the second one was Major League Soccer. As a video editor, sometimes I would fly to stadiums and go shoot the all-star matches or championships. All of this literally within a year of not choosing that safe option. And now we fast forward four years. I'm a full-time content marketer. I work for an amazing company. I have a job that I love. I am happy every single freaking day because I get to work with cameras and create content like this. And I'm making way more money 
than I did in those sales positions. What is safe, what is known, what is comfortable isn't always the best option for you. Think right now, what's getting in your way from pursuing your dreams of becoming a YouTuber or a content marketer, or maybe just having like a better job where you're working with cameras and you're being creative. What's holding you back? Think of that one thing and don't be afraid to walk away from it. Or actually you can be afraid, but know that there's better for you if you just simply let go.